once data cloud is activated from data cloud setup home you'll see a screen like this in this case i want to connect to another salesforce org which holds records related to the be more podcast to achieve this from the left hand side i'm going to press on salesforce crm the current org is connected automatically and i want to create a new connection to my other salesforce org and then i'm going to press next I'm going to give this an alias of be more. Um, this will be added into my data streams and help me identify what's what. And then I'm going to press proceed. And then I'll need to log into that org. And that should now be successfully connected. So you can see here that the connection has been made. It's got the alias and it's also defining the org ID as well. So now that the connection has been set up, I'm going to jump into the data cloud app and then from here i want to create some data streams which pull in information from my other org so i'm going to press new select salesforce crm and then press next and then from here i need to select the org so i want to select the be more org and i don't want to use any data kits here so i'm going to press view objects and select my objects manually in this case, I want to grab the account object, the contact object, and the session plan object, which stores information about each episode of the Be More podcast. I'm going to press next. From this screen, you'll see the option to adjust the fields that are coming in from this data stream. So we can see here the account object, and we can see which fields are being pulled in automatically. These are the, the standard fields and then the custom fields are here as well. You need to select an object category, which I'm just gonna set as profile for now. And I'm gonna jump to the contact. And again, I've got some more custom fields here. And again, I need to set an object category. And then session plan, I'm going to set that as profile as well and we can see the standard fields that it's pulling in and also the custom fields so say i'm happy with this i'm going to press next and from this screen i can choose which data space the information comes into right now it's coming into the default data space i can also set filters to only pull in certain records but for now i'm going to keep everything as it is and press deploy that will now go ahead and create my data streams for me in the background. And this may take a few minutes 